Good morning and welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. Today we're going to be going on a adventure ride in search of Bigfoot. I'd like to thank you for joining in to our documentary of In Search of Bigfoot and let's go ride. Hunting for Bigfoot is going to be tougher. It's going to be one of the tougher assignments I've taken on. The community that actually hunts him and knows where he is is actually pretty tight lipped. I don't know if you can tell from the video or not, but I'd actually ask the clerk if she'd seen him or anything like that. And she acted like she didn't know what I was talking about. And, and then when I mentioned that I was getting a jack link, she was like, oh, okay. We, you're all right and you know she kind of gave me that wink but she didn't uh, she didn't really give me any information as to where he might be at Woods. again what I was talking about earlier was uh, my mother always said it was easier to catch flies with sugar than it is vinegar and in today's case I've actually been doing a lot of research about Bigfoot and the ones that we have around here actually do prefer jack links. I wasn't sure if he wanted the hickory flavored or the peppered, but I went ahead and picked up a bag of both. It's a nice cloudy overcast day today. Again, the temps are in the teens and I can't picture him or them not being out moving today. There's actually a lot more prep work that goes into hunting Bigfoot than you'd actually think. I've been doing a lot of research and I recall a conversation with a guy I had, it's been about a year ago, but he was telling me some places to look out east where he's, uh, he's an avid Bigfoot hunter and he actually told me that he's developed a call that he can call Bigfoot in and I was so impressed with it I asked him if he would if he would do it right then and he kindly bowed out and said that it's uh, not anything that he shares with anybody but uh, he said thanks for asking him nicely and uh, he continued on his way but I did visit with the guy for about 30, 45 minutes and and I know that it's an area that he hunts regularly because I've seen his vehicle out there before. So we're gonna be heading out into the eastern side of Oklahoma City limits and search a Bigfoot. And more than likely guys, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna try to keep this video short and I also don't want to be giving up my location just in case I do find him. And I hope that you guys can accept that and appreciate it. For those of you who enjoy wildlife photography and are thinking about getting into that kind of stuff, pull up your maps and, and look at the geography of the area that you're going to be going to. Pull up the typo maps and just kind of look around and see. You'll, You'll be surprised how much you can learn just going on Google Maps and pulling up typo maps of the area. I found a good saddle here where we're at today. We're set up, so it's going to be funneling the wildlife. They're just like we are. They're they're going to take that easier path. It's it's just human nature. It's going to be the nature of the beast as well. And and I really think that we're set up in a good spot. Um, if I get time here in a minute, I'll set up some of my other cameras. I'm going to try to get them set up before it gets too dark and let's see what we can find. I've, I've backpacked way back in here. It's taken me probably an hour or better to get back up in here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get our, my camera set up and the tripod set up and uh, let's see what happens, guys. Uh, I, I've really got a, lot of, I've got a lot of hopes for this area. I'm, one thing that I did notice when I was 
walking down in here, I've seen a huge uh, great horned owl. Unfortunately, I, I've got King with me today, just in case. I mean, I, I don't want to take any chances with, uh, with, you know, Bigfoot. I'm unarmed. Came out here just uh, me, and I went ahead and brought King. I figure worst case scenario, King can outrun me. The, the plan would be if he tries to get me, I'll drop the jack links, I'll take off running, and maybe King can make it back to the house and, and call for help, because I, I don't have any kind of uh, safety gear as far as, I, I've got a cell phone, but that's about it. And the service out here is kind of spotty because we are way back out here, but uh, Thanks a lot for joining in and let me get my camera and stuff set up and let's see what happens, guys. I uh, appreciate y'all following along. As I'm already seeing a ton of wildlife out here. I'll, I'll try to get some pictures of the birds and stuff while we're here and post some of them also. But I, I really feel good that this is probably gonna, this is gonna pan out today. It's a nice overcast day. The wind's in our favor, wind's in my face. It's a light breeze. And, and as you can see, I'm set up here by these cedar trees, so we're, we're in good shape. Good morning, this is day two of the hunt. We got up early this morning and tried to get out here before the sun came up. I think maybe getting out a little late yesterday didn't help anything. This is encouraging. I did see what I believe to be a Bigfoot track on my way back to camp last night. And uh, get home and look at the video a little bit closer, or actually the picture. I'll post a picture up above and you guys tell me what you think. But uh, let's go hunt. Well guys, it's uh, roughly 12 o'clock. I've got an eye doctor's appointment today at three and I'm gonna have to go back to town. You guys know I left earlier, I got too cold, but I, I have been back. I've been sitting out here for another three or four hours. I left King at camp. Uh, I don't know if maybe they can smell the dog or not, but uh, the Jack Lynx is missing. I, I did have it set up over here. When I came back, the Jack Lynx is missing. I, I don't know. It's part of part of the fun with hunting or photography, either one. I mean, sometimes you get the game and sometimes you don't. I really felt good about this place and this area. I thought we were on a good location. Uh, but again, I appreciate all your likes, comments, and subscribes. And uh, thanks for watching, and may you have a blessed week.